Mesa County Elections Office intensifies. One of several related investigations leads to charges. Our Riley Spence joins us live in the studio with more details on the recent charges filed against the county's deputy clerk. Riley. Rob, second degree burglary and cybercrime are among the charges Deputy Clerk Belinda Nisley is facing as controversy surrounding Mesa County's Clerk and Recorder's Office evolves. Springing from an investigation into creating a hostile work environment for her employees, alleged actions by Mesa County Deputy Clerk Belinda Nisley led to an arrest warrant. Mesa County's District Attorney says she is charged with crimes of second degree burglary and cybercrime. According to an arrest affidavit, days after being placed on paid administrative leave, asked to not have contact with anyone in the office, and having all access to computer passwords revoked, she was discovered inside secure areas of the office using Mesa County Clerk and Recorder Tina Peters' computer passwords and email. It has been reported to us that she was back in the building and that she uh, was back on the computer system in violation of those directives. Nisley has since turned herself in to the 21st Judicial District Court as of Wednesday. This is the second investigation the District Attorney's Office has launched in the last month into Mesa County Clerk and Recorder's Office. Belinda Nisley's charges are separate from two criminal investigations focusing on Mesa County Clerk and Recorder Tina Peters. The District Attorney's Office and the FBI are still actively investigating Peter's role in the election security breach. The Secretary of State's office tells our Denver affiliates they are now asking a judge to formally remove Peters as clerk and recorder. So we are taking the legal steps necessary to remove uh, Clerk Peters as the designated election official. Um, and, and that has several consequences. I can put a supervisor on top of the election by law, but I cannot remove the designated election official. So we're asking a judge to remove her. There is no information showing Clerk Peters has returned to her office since August 9th. The Secretary of State says with November elections approaching quickly, she expects Colorado and Mesa County specifically to have safe and secure voting. 